Yeah. Welcome back to the broadcast. We got the other twin. We can, I was told I can just call you twin now. I don't, yes, I don't even have to can. identify yes, you yourself, can. you know. <laughs> you just twin. That's twin. Right. Actually, we got uh, Kerry Walker. Welcome to the broadcast, Kerry. Thank you. Thank good you. To, good to see you again. Last time we saw you, you were... Uh, you had a, a a rapper you was uh, working yep. on, a little crazy rapper. How's, how, have you done anything more with that character? Yes, I have. It hasn't came out yet, but it's definitely going to be a lot of big yeah. things. His name was K Nasty. Yeah. You know, he's a rapper from Skokie, Illinois. You know, so he's, yeah. it's definitely going to be some good things coming from him. I got a song done. That's gonna awesome. I'm going to shoot a mi music video for it when the weather gets a little better. But Wonderful. Wonderful. It's going to be a big year for... Our cool. comedy and K Nasty. Now I know she got a, a new logo. That's kind of cool. Yeah, man. Who, who designed that or how did that come about? Man, um, we both. Made... Who, I mean, who came up with two eyes? That's genius. And the, and the eyes look like microphones. Yeah, well, Chris came up with the. We wanted to go with the Walker twin, Twins. Okay. And Chris came up with the idea. Where he he want, he's, We came up with two eyes. He okay. said, let's make the eyes two people and represent each of us. Okay, like a stick figure or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I like, was the like, guy, like the guy in the bathroom door. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but you don't want that bathroom door guy following yeah, you, Yeah, right? then when he said that, I'm like, that's a good idea. But once he said that, it hits me like, you know what? How about two microphone stands since we perform together? Yes. And... Yeah, that's the thing about being twins. You know, we, we both know what we're thinking and yeah, I come mean, about the same thing. You know? And the thing is, you, you probably just look at each other and like, yeah, yeah, you know. And, and like I said, talking about your routine, how you mentioned how, you know, you could read each other's face. Yeah, And, and, and know what true. they're thinking. And, and that's got to be something else. That's wild. Yeah, and, man, what we talk about is, man, true stuff. Like, he can, like I said, he can make a facial expression and... I know exactly what he's thinking. I know if I need to change what I just said or if he got into some trouble or, you know. Yeah. Now, growing up, have uh, did, have you or him ever claimed to be the other guy? So, sometimes. Has, I, have, you, has, have you ever fooled anybody as far as mom, dad, or grandma? Yeah, definitely. We've done fooled everybody at a certain time, you know, and there's a bunch of times where we'll be, I'll be out and I'll see somebody I know, but I really don't want to talk to them. So I'm like, hey, Carrie. I'm like, nah, I'm Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you've done that. That's crazy. Plenty of times. You know, old, old girls or those annoying guys you see everywhere. They think they know you. And yeah. sometimes I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> so I just send them off a little bit. Yeah. Now, in your routine, you mentioned, uh, you mentioned a pool party. I went to Vegas pool party, and I felt obese. <laughs> Now, everybody has six packs, and I'm just there regular. So the whole time, I'm in four foot water playing beach volleyball like this and shit. So nobody can see my stomach and shit. Everybody think I'm a midget. Even though we, you know, we don't look as big, we were the biggest dudes at the party. Like, everybody's ripped. The girls is ripped. And... I just welcome, to, welcome to my world, okay? <laughs> welcome, welcome to my world, you know, all right? You know, Chicago, I mean, I'm, I feel okay, man. I went to Las Vegas, and there's nothing but supermodels there, so. Yeah, it was also, yeah, Chicago is the Midwest, and we got exactly. them, you know, meat and potatoes, and they're eating their broccoli and, and stuff they, like that over there. And they're there. serving food at this pool party, so we ate, and then we came out with big stomachs afterwards, and everybody's with six packs, and man, everybody had a six pack. The, the good-looking people, the ugly people, the, uh, mm. the the lifeguard, the DJ, the security guards, everybody has six packs. See, the key with that a moment is you just got to go in deeper in the water. And that's exactly what you I know? did. So I mentioned, I put, it was a four-foot pool, but my you couldn't see nothing but my <laughs> head the whole time. You know, they probably thought I was a midget or something. Yeah. But that's what you got to do. You got to go yeah. deeper in the water. Yeah, you know? it was. That's you exactly what I did. probably come out looking like a prune. Yeah. But uh, it was a three hour pool party, and I spent two and a half hours <laughs> under the water and the other half hour eating. So that's good. Cool. Or get a life vest. You're just going to hang on a life vest or something there, too. Yeah, and I was a, we, I think we're the only table who ate, too. I think everybody knew. But Well, yeah, out, out in the West Coast, everyone's always worried about their figure and, and their yeah. how they're looking. So no one probably touched anything, you know. Or they go home and they probably just. You know, binge down a bunch of stuff. Exactly, like exactly. The cool thing was you sure had a, your your fill, right? You could eat anything you wanted at that party. Yeah, I mean, no, no second line. There was no line. Nah, get, it was yeah. good. I mean, well, Las Vegas is expensive in the first place, so and you pay a lot of money for finger foods, <laughs> but <laughs> it was good though. It was worth it. Now, uh, where else have you traveled? 
Man, I've been to L.A. a few times. I've yeah. been to New York. You know, the main cities. How are the people in different parts of the country? Um, L.A., L.A. is friendly. I'll give it to them. They're friendly, but... Friendly. Yeah, I'll give it to them. They're friendly, but... You know, it's a different culture out there than it is out here. Everybody's more laid back out there. Okay. And, for instance, I went to... You go to a club in Chicago, mm -hmm. and if anything is wrong, they won't let you in. If you got baggy pants, you're not dressed up right, they'll send you home. Right. So, when I went to L.A., they said we were going out. So, I dressed fully up, dress right. shoes... And when they picked me up, they laughed at me. They were like, why are you you're suited and booted? You all dressed up. They had on hats, T-shirts, jeans, gym shoes. Yeah. And I was, I, I looked like the out-of-towner that night. Oh, my goodness. So New York, though, and New York is cool, too. It's the same way in their club. Go dressed up, but they're, yeah. everybody's relaxed, you know. And New York, they're up all night. Those, their clubs yeah. don't stop till 8 in the morning, where in L.A., they stop at 2. And Chicago's 5, so... So what, why are we so uh, uptight here in the Midwest then? If everyone else is laid back, why? What's with the Midwest that makes us uptight? And well, we live in Chicago, the murder capital. <laughs> I think is that what it is? Yeah, I think everybody's trying to be as safe as they can. You know, trying to you know, cause people who dress out of, you know, like with the baggy stuff, it's usually people who cause trouble. Supposedly, I don't yeah. agree with that, but that's how they feel out here, and especially in Chicago, you gotta be extra safe. Ladies, um, if you want your relationship to go smooth, lie to your man. Because we lie to y'all because we care about y'all. Y'all tell us the truth and hurt our feelings. You know? Like, for instance, ask a guy when's the last time he had sex. He's going to say, I don't know, a while ago. Long while ago. Ask a girl. <laughs> Ask a female when's the last time she had sex. She get real specific. Thursday, October 10th, 10 o'clock at night. Family Guy was on TV. You're like, what? And ask a guy how many girls he's been with. He's going to say something high that's respectable but not gross. Like, not. You know? Ask a girl how many guys she's been with. She's going to say four, but she don't stop at four. She's like, I don't count two because I don't like them no more. I don't count three because I don't remember them. And I don't count one because I felt bad for the guy. Like, bitch, that's ten. It's just, like, again, real life. You know, I date a girl and she'll tell me the honest truth. Right. And that hurts. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah you know, sometimes the truth hurts and you don't want to hear about it. You know, sometimes you just rather hear... You know, the beautiful lies and the ugly truth. And, yeah, that's how sometimes relationships last longer like that. Not, And I'm not saying, like, lying where you got a different guy or a different girl all the time. You know. Well, like, does this shirt make you look fat? Yeah. Just say, no, it doesn't. It might, but that'll save an argument. Right. And say that you have to go about stuff like that, you know. Exactly. So tell me what's, uh, what's going, what else is going on this year with, with your comedy. You mentioned you're doing some uh, a music video yeah. with some characters you're developing. What else is going on with your stand-up and the twins? Well, um, we're working on a bunch of skits. We got a, a lot of ideas planned. Okay. You know, we're going to start a new, we're going to start a video series called Twin Problems. You know, okay. where, where we probably went through and other twins can relate, you know, but it's funny at the same time. Yeah. You know, so we're going to start that. We got a bunch of ideas for that. We just need to, we got it on paper. We just need to get it on cool. film. You know, I'm working on my character. Yeah. You know, I want to, you was know. Big Nasty, what was his name? K Nasty. K Nasty. K -Nasty. K Nasty, you know. So, you know, doing more shows. I'm trying to travel. Just trying to get some stuff done. Cool. You know, slow motion is better than no motion I right feel now. You. I feel you. But it's getting there. It's getting cool. there. All right, but thanks for stopping by again. No problem. Thank All you right, for buddy. having me. All right, thanks. We'll be back right after this.